All right, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're gonna be short. Uh, sorry, we're gonna be reading a short book, and then after that, we will be doing uh, a landscape based on Chicago. So let's get going. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Mr. Mill, and today we have another book. Uh, this one's called Rudy and Claude Splash Into Art. It looks like it's about a bird and a mouse. So let's get going. So this one's by Adam McAfee. All right. Rudy and Claude Splash Into Art. To mom and then, thanks again, Sam. All right, this probably wasn't part of the story, but here we go. <laughs> That looks interesting. What you doing on? Uh, sorry. That looks interesting. What you working on, Claude? Shh. Quiet, Rudy. I'm making art. Oh. Art. But wait. What is art? It's something a mouse like you wouldn't understand. See, I'm a true artist. I have skill and imagination. I have skill. I can smell garbage a mile away. And I have imagination. I Could I be a true artist? Ha! You, an artist? That's hard to imagine. But okay, Rudy. If you insist, try to paint a self-portrait. A self-portrait is a picture you make of yourself. Find some art supplies and start painting. Self-portrait, huh? Just gotta paint myself. Easy. Oh no, that doesn't look like me at all. Try a still life. A still life is when you paint some things that you can put on a table. Like this. I'll paint a soup can. I guess that is a little better. But who would ever want to look at a can of soup? Try a landscape, Rudy. That's a painting of mountains or a beach or a lake. Just about anything outside in nature. Good idea, Claude. There's a beautiful lake right out here in the city. I'll take a walk and see what I can paint. Honk, 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 honk. Ah! Landscapes are not for me. Now, what are you working on? Sorry, <laughs> let me try that again. Now, what are you working on? That looks like something I could do. This is found art. That's when you take objects you find and make something new. I'm going to find some objects and try making my own found art. Ta-da! All this hard work is really making me hungry. Grumble, grumble. This garbage sure smells delicious. Maybe I'll just have a quick nibble. How's your found art sculpture coming along? Oh, Claude, I ate it. I'll never be a true artist. Rudy, why don't you borrow this book full of true artists? It will give you some new ideas. There's Salvador Dali, Claude Monet, Andy Warhol. That's it. I just need, needed the right look. Now I can really make a masterpiece. And soon I'll be a true R R R ah splat. Ah, gah, whoa, ouch. What have I done? I've made a huge mess. I'm a total failure. I'll never understand art. Never. What is art? Rudy, this is art. You've got color and movement. You've got feeling and emotion. I do? Yes, you've just made a great painting. Does that mean I'm a true artist? Yes. A true artist. <laughs> this book was cute. I like how they go over different type of styles. It's 
really nice. I like it. So anyways, that was the book. Let's try to make something out of this. All right, let's get going. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoy that book. Uh, let's get started right away. So what you're gonna need is something to draw with and a piece of paper, and you wanna hold the paper horizontally just like this. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna be doing it in Sharpie so it's a little bit easier to see rather than pencil. I highly do suggest that you do it in pencil first, but for me, I'm just gonna go straight with marker. So here we go. So I'm gonna draw um, my little land right here in the bottom, okay? And then I'm going to divide the land up from beach or street scene to like kind of like the water. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from here and maybe curve and make a little bit of an S just like that. And that way this side's going to be water and this side's going to be the beach. So with that said, if this is going to be water, I might as well add a pier. So I'm going to add a line going from here all the way. I might as well make two lines. Whoop, and then close it off. There. Now we have floating kind of like pier over there so we need to connect it to the water and of course you won't be able to see these beams from inside the water so we're just going to stop on the top of the water like that okay and then if you want to create a ramp of some sort or some land to connect it you can there we go all right so if you don't have something round like how i do like a cup or if you want to do freehand you can i want to add the ferris wheel for navy pier for Chicago somewhere. So I'm going to use this marker. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to use uh, a pencil just in case if I have to erase some lines. So again, here is my pencil line. I know it's hard to see from you guys because um, that's why it's hard to see. That's why I don't really like doing pencil with camera. Um, so what I'm going to do is I, I got to kind of freehand the other the rest of the circle. So I'm going to try to go around, add a second layer of line right around it, just like that. And then I'm gonna to try to find the center and I'm just gonna put a tiny little circle right there. All right, next up, I gotta connect this Ferris wheel to the ground somehow. So I'm gonna connect two lines. And again, notice how I'm overlapping the uh, other circle. So that's a good thing why I didn't do Sharpie. And then I'm gonna add the cart parts. So maybe add a cart right here, cart down there, maybe cart on this side, cart on here. Maybe a car right there, car right here, car right there, maybe one right there. And then, of course, the lines to make sure it's not protected, or I don't know what I'm saying, but <laughs> making sure it's not too lopsided. All right, hopefully that's good. I probably could have done it better, but there we go. So anyways, I'm going to go back with my marker, and then make sure I can draw it a little bit better. All right. Here's the tiny carts that are on the Ferris wheel. And since I did it in pencil, I can erase the lines I don't need. Hit her on. There we are. All right, it's looking a lot better so far. So I'm glad I did it in pencil first. So now I could do the inner circle. Make sure I don't hit my carts. Another reason why doing it in pencil first works best. Now I can do the outer circle. And I can always even make it better. There we are. All right. There's a wheel. Looks perfect. Um, I forgot the lines on the inside. There we are. All right. Uh, at Millennium Park, there is a bean. So I might as well draw the bean to represent Chicago. Looks like a peanut. Kind of like that. It's kind of weird. Um, I don't want to draw anything else on the pier at the moment. I'll leave that there for now. Uh, let's start off with some important buildings that we always see. Uh, there's Prudential Building. There is the uh, John Hancock Building. And then there's a Sear Tower, also known as the Wills Tower. But that's a whole other story. There's always different arguments about that one. So we won't go through that. So let's start doing some buildings to make it look like a city. So why don't we do the John Hancock first? Or the Prudential. Actually, no, let's do the John Hancock first. It's a kind of like angled building. So I'm going to go from here. I'm kind of draw a line like that, and then I'm going to angle it a little bit because the John Hancock is not completely up and down. So that I'm going to add two antennas on top, and then I'm going to divide it into thirds. So maybe I want to do one third right here, and another third right there. So one, two, three. See, there we go. I'm going to create blocks in each of them. One right there. One right here. And then a half one, kind of, right there. And then I'm going to add X's in all of them. So maybe I'll do 
a bar right there, bar right there. If you didn't do a normal X, you can. I'm kind of making them more three-dimensional to make it look like iron bars. There we are. Ta-da! Prudential building. All right, next building I'm going to do is... Sorry, that's the John Hancock building. Next building is the Prudential building. It's kind of like a slanted building. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here. It's a little bit more interesting and a lot more shorter. Make it a diamond. I'm going to put random horizontal lines on the top. I'm going to bring all three corners straight down. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do before I do my Tells building, I am going to add a couple more shorter buildings in the front. So maybe one right here. So just random building. These buildings can be miscellaneous, meaning it could be any building you want. Maybe one right here. Maybe another one right here. Maybe another one right here. Maybe another one right here. As a matter of fact, why don't I do the Will's Tower right here. So this big rectangle in the back over here will have a couple levels. So here I am going up. Not tall enough. There we go. And then two antennas yet again. You can draw the sky box if you'd like. I'm going to leave it blank for now. I'm going to pretend it's on the other side where I can't see. And then from here, the most annoying part, but most time consuming is adding windows. Okay, I highly suggest you add windows. It makes it a little bit more interesting. You can add different shape windows, different size windows, like how I'm doing. So I made up and down ones, and I made side to side ones. And it gives it more of an interesting look. Maybe a door right here for the roof. Uh, I think there's a marquee somewhere. So if I want to draw a marquee on the side of a building somewhere, I can. Like this. It says Chicago on the side. This is really close to the edge, though. I'm not sure if that was worth drawing. And then if I don't want to feel like drawing windows, I just draw random lines going sideways. Try percent windows like that. And then more windows like this. All right. Maybe some dashes to symbolize the windows there. There we are. And then maybe some diagonal lines like this, diagonal lines like this. If you want to draw a beach theme, a scene right here with some volleyball nets you can that volleyball net ball maybe uh, maybe a bike path maybe or a road could be a road too there you go most kind of cool right maybe some more windows that'd be kind of cool over here awesome all right. Um, I think I'm going to add more windows over here. All right. It looks like the Sears Tower is almost done. Or the Will's Tower, I should say. I don't want to get anyone mad. <laughs> All right. Let's make it four across. There you go. And then four down. And Windows does take a long time, but it does look, make the picture look a lot better, doesn't it? All right. I know there's more buildings here on the pier, so I might as well add those buildings now. And then maybe, I don't know how to do this without making it look confusing. Maybe this building can go all the way in the back here. Oh, I think I made, I made it look confusing. It's okay. There's more stuff over there. It could be a main entrance right there. Tons of windows. I can't draw any more over here. Because then it gets really confusing by the pier. All right, I think I'm going to add, I think I'm adding too much now, <laughs> but it's okay. It's making it look pretty. All right, so Chicago's almost done. I'm going to add my last bit of windows. And I might as well add some windy clouds because it's the windy city. So if you want to do windy clouds, just draw a straight line, a couple loops on top, and then kind of go from small to big. So small and big, then small again. If you want to put a sun behind one of them, you can. So if you want to put like a sun like that, you can. All right. If you want to put some waves, finish it off, you may do that as well. And I think I did a pretty good job with just a Sharpie and the limited time 
I have with you guys. So anyways, um, I would color it, but I don't want to waste your time. And uh, I'm pretty sure I went too fast. So with this video said, uh, if you need to pause at any moment and any time when I'm doing this uh, drawing tutorial, uh, feel free to do that. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.